hello everyone welcome back to my channel in this video i will show how to do the integration between the tracker with the google account so we can do the single sign on with the google account to the tracker server so the idea is instead of like asking the username i mean the email and also password during the login we can ask whether the customer or the user want to use their google account to log into the tracker so if we enable this feature then the the user will be redirected to the Google and they will do the login there and it will be like redirected again using the callback to the tracker server. So let's try to uh, use this uh, kind of the feature. Okay, so let's get started. So the first thing that we need to do is actually we need to create the credential for this uh, uh, integration. So you can go to the console.cloud.google.com and then you go to the credential and create new credential and the kind of this is the out client id this one and for the application type you can choose the web application and the name is my online okay and for the authorized javascript origins you can choose your domain in this case my online and the redirect uri this one should be like HTTPS my tracker dot online two. Also, let's put the local host eighty eighty two, and the callback should be around here. So let's also put that here, just in case, and create. Okay. So after this, we will get the client ID this one let's copy that and put that in the open id client id and also we'll put the client secret also put that in the client secret in this part okay and then let's enable this and remove the unnecessary and open id force to be false for now okay so let's check again for this one and let's just try to edit this okay so be good this is also to have the callback here okay so now let's save again and that should be uh, good for now so now what i need to do is i need to redeploy the tracker i need to take down the current one and i need to relaunch uh, once again with the new configuration okay so it's that simple docker compose up minus d let's wait for a moment so the expectation is when we do the visiting the login page again instead of only using the username and also password it will also like asking whether you want to use the google uh, account for login so let's try reload this page okay it's still resetting just take one or two minutes waiting for this to be up again so yeah i mean it, this is the a normal thing see now it has the login with the open id when we click this actually it will redirect that to the google account login so we can choose one of these and yes continue this is the normal uh, way and now we already log in see no it's quite a simple actually so in this account you can go to the account and you can also the lockout so that's when we use the force to be a uh, false so it give us the choice to log in with the email password or with the google uh, open id the google account okay maybe this one also see this one this will be good also don't forget in the consent screen don't forget to ask for uh asking for the information for the name and also for the what they call for the email because we will need we will need that to store in our uh, tracker okay so let's save and continue i will show you here see in the scope actually you can select for the user info for the email and so profile so you can get you can get the name and something like that so it is like the non-credential information for the user okay so now what will happen if we change the open id force to be true so instead of like the server asking us to choose whether we use the email and so password it will like force us to use the uh, open id or the google account so now we will take down again and we will relaunch once more 
to make sure that it is reloading the correct credential okay now let's compose up again i already saved this let's wait for a moment okay now it's good let's reload this yeah one two minute waiting for the tracker will be available again and reload again now you can notice that when i access the login uh, this is like already redirected to google and then it's already uh, authorized so i don't need to put the login anymore see so now see something like this so it doesn't ask me whether i need to put the email and also password but it already directly redirected me to the google and then called me back to the tracker server and it's working fine so it is good so now you get the information how to do the integration between the tracker with the google as a identity provider so maybe later if you need help for integrating with another third party maybe like using the another identity provider just let me know and i will try to help to create a uh, tutorial for that but in case if you believe that uh, installing and configuring and also maintaining the tracker server is too much for you you just need to use a uh, mytracker.online to track your devices easily without any issue for uh, tracking them with a hassle for the maintaining the server just use just register and you will get two devices free to track but if you need more you can just uh, uh, purchase the plan to get the more devices to track and that's all for this video see you uh, next time